Here's how I added an elevator to my shed for under $500. I'll go over how it works and then over some of the design decisions. All the parts are linked in the description below. It's so much easier to lift and lower stuff than to try and carry it up and down the ladder. We've got the hoist mounted to some uh, C-channel. And here is the stopper, so this will hit this switch if it pulls up too far and automatically stop the hoist. And then I've got my uh, hoist up and down buttons. I have the wire to extend this so I could put it downstairs too. It'd be nice actually if there were um, upstairs and downstairs, but it hasn't actually been that big of a deal to just load up the elevator downstairs, come up the stairs and hit the button because you're gonna come up here anyway to unload it, vice versa. So the hoist has two wires connected to its hook. Both wires go all the way to the end around two other pulleys. And then one stops at that near pulley and the other comes all the way back to this pulley. And those wires become uh, triangles that then support the four corners of my platform. The reason I have this two by six running all the way along from this end to that end is so that the, uh, the force between the hoist and the end pulleys is just withstood uh, by compression on this two by six rather than pulling on my horizontal two by four support beams. And it's also a way to uh, theoretically distribute some of the load some of the vertical load between just this 2x4 and some of the other ones as it pulls down on this 2x6. So here's where the wires make their U-turn around these pulleys. And then one wire comes to the near uh, vertical support pulley and the other wire goes that one and then I'm just using these uh, wire clamps everywhere to hold things together the nice thing about the platform when it's up well it got a little tilted when it caught the edge one time uh, but normally when it's all the way up it's almost a flat uh, surface that you can slide stuff directly from the fixed platforms onto the elevator or slide it all the way across. So here's a diagram to help make it a little bit clearer. I've got my hoist over here, two wires attached to the end of the hook. Those wires go all the way left, wrapping around a uh, set of pulleys over here to make a U-turn and then go back to pulleys that then redirect the wire vertically to lift and lower the platform. So in the up position, the hook is all the way here next to the hoist and as the hoist lets it out, you can see it lets the wire out this way, wraps around here and then goes down to my platform. Now there's definitely some disadvantages to this design. If I were to put a big weight on this side of the platform. It would have a tendency to rock that way and things could slide off. Although actually, as you can see here in this picture, it does pretty well, it's remarkably stable. I actually didn't think that design would work when I made it. Now, one factor that helps mitigate some of this rocking is having these triangles be fairly tall. You can imagine if they were much shorter, like if this line extended all the way here, almost to just connecting to the middle. If you put a weight on the on the side, there'd be almost nothing to resist this platform from uh, rocking to the side. Now the downside of making these triangles uh, too tall is that the platform can only get as close to these pulleys as the height of these triangles. And in my shed, I was lucky. It just kind of worked out. I had, I had about a foot between the pulley and the top of this triangle when the platform is completely raised. So overall, I was trying to go for the simplest design I could come up with, fewest number of parts, 
One other issue with this design is that I need to have enough horizontal space between this hook and these U-turn pulleys. If we go back here, uh, you can see that as soon as this hook hits these pulleys, that's the end of my travel. So if you had a really far uh, vertical distance you needed to cover, you would e need an equally far horizontal distance at the top of your shed to be able to support this, this distance. So most other elevator designs that I've seen do not use this design because of these disadvantages. They, I've seen a lot of ones that have sort of two rotating poles at the top. You've got your hoist wrapping around a, the first pole and then it rotates and as it rotates the platform wires wrap around the pole to lift and lower it. And this is great because you've got full stability, each corner is individually supported. Uh, you don't need any space between the platform and this pole really. You could pull it all the way up close to it. And uh, you could put this hoist maybe in the middle of this thing so that it's a lot more compact and uh, stable design. But I wasn't really sure what these poles should be, how to mount them, how to chain them together. Um, maybe it wouldn't be that much more complicated, but it, it seemed like more parts at the time and my first design just kind of works. So why fix it? Well, truth be told, it could use some improvements. It rocks quite a bit when it's going up, so it's pretty easy for it to catch the lip of the floor, which is super bad as it's going up. So usually what I have to do is kind of guide this by hand after it gets a little closer. Make sure it gets past that lip. Similar problem over there, that, uh, that corner. I might eventually add some sort of like guide on the uh, two by sixes to kind of direct it into its hole. So I very much recommend if you're gonna make an elevator to make it about a little over 36 inches wide so that you can fit standard shelving units on it. Got a platform that's three by six feet, and I've just supported the perimeter with two by fours. It's just three quarter inch plywood. Nothing, no cross beams in the middle, just the perimeter. We'll see how that feels. Oh my gosh! Oh, oh that sounded bad. I think we hit, I think I hit the platform, but it kind of works. Yeah. Okay, so it's elevated now. It's a little bit out of level. Right. Um, so we'll have to make some adjustments to the wire. <laughs> out of level. Just touch. <laughs> Just <laughs> so it's a little out of level, as you can see. This side, there? Yes. Yes. Okay, so we've done a lot of adjustments on the triangles and the wires to somewhat level the platform. Okay, up please. Woo! Oh, look at that. Almost level. And the red stopper is actually perfectly aligned so that it, the cutoff switch gets triggered right when it gets to level, which is amazingly lucky. All right, we're lowering. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a chair. That's a chair. <laughs> Engage. Down. This is the first load test. Halloween decorations. Engage! Up. Up. Yes. Oh. 
As a mechanical engineer, I can definitely say this is in no way safe. The only thing I did was buy a hoist, wire rope, and pulleys that were rated for 600 pounds, but I have no idea how much weight the screws holding it all together can hold. The clamps, the 2x4s on the top of my shed, or pretty much anything else. I can say that it hasn't fallen apart yet, but tomorrow is a new day. This is truly what American Saturdays are made for.